Hello everybody and welcome back to the Super Shiny Mass Effect Legendary Edition where I'm gonna level up my squad and I'm not gonna mess up because of my stupid controller that's uh, the other one the other one that sucks. Putting it into charm. Uh and I gotta remember the undo talents points is X. <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, anyway, anyway. We want to get to shotguns as fast as possible. Yes. Ah, no, I can't undo. I need the charm. They've met. They they they've rate limited me on my charm right now. They're trying to anyway. Next time we'll unlock shotguns. Break pistols. Who wants to play with a pistol? Nobody wants to play with a pistol. Look at that. Look at what a good kid I am. Look at what a good little paragon I am. Anyway, you get. Oh, what do you want? I try to get that up. Where are we go? Regenerate sound. Let's see. Sure, we'll give her marks. Marksman. She's my assault rifle. Woman. Let's get. Let's get fitness going. Okie dokie, Caden, my boy. Uh, yeah, let's do electronics. Sentinel. I try, I usually try to get like their base ability leveled up like reasonably quickly. I think it just, it just helps overall. It just gives you like like a lot of the basics, but stuff that really helps improve the gameplay experience, in my opinion. Anyway, I don't know if Caden is kind of gray in the Legacy Original Edition or what, but he looks a little bit gray in the Legendary Edition, and I'm I'm living for it. I'm loving it. He looks extremely handsome. What? Oh, did I what? When did I get? I was not paying attention. To my points? I was not paying attention to my points, apparently. Vanguard? I should definitely put a point in the Vanguard, since that's what I was saying. Tactical armor. So far away. Um. Lift. Lift is so far away. Barrier. I may want to get barrier. Unlock a barrier. Do I want to like try to get my armor? I don't even get that for freaking forever yet. Let's do let's do barrier. I am playing on insanity on a new game. It's not a safe game plus, so I'm a little concerned about my durability. But normally I read the codex entries, and I guess let me know if you guys want. I can just freaking like I don't. I don't know if anybody would actually want to like just like listen to, but this one. The, the second species. It's the guy. The I could just like have him speak out for like a half hour or so at a time, like it like intermixed throughout the game. Sometimes I just sit there when I'm playing the game, and I'm like take a, like a food break. I just sit here and let him list, let him read off codex entries to me. But I could have him read off a bunch of codex entries. The secondary editions, though. Um, I do, like, you, ha I have, I'd have to read those, so I could read them out loud. I could get practice for my audiobook, uh, fame in the future when I'm a famous, I don't know, <laughs> voice actress. I'll be a voice actress. Anyway, I'm not gonna press that keeper yet, because I need to go talk to this guy. Guy, give me your keeper quest. That guy's up to something. Ashley. What guy? The one over by the key. Calm down, Ashley. I like the fountain. It's very soon. <laughs> it's fun to click on them sometimes. I bet all these staircases aren't just. Hmm. Not enough data yet. No, ow, Frit, hang on. What are those cherry trees? No, they're not cherry trees. They're alien trees, you fool. I don't know. Maybe they are cherry trees. I highly doubt it. Although, actually, in the codex, I'm pretty sure they do say something about how every year or so, the Citadel. The Citadel, like. Interior decorators or whatever they take they like will specialize the citadel and the presidium specifically into different species like home worlds like flora type stuff 
Um, and I think it says specifically that this year they're doing Earth. Uh, they're showcasing Earth's flora. So it could be, actually. Uh, they did that, obviously, probably because the game developers were like, I don't know about coming up with even more alien stuff. Let's just put some human stuff in here and make a good reason and slap it in there, you know what I mean? But anyway... Ash, Caden's like, I like this fountain, it's very nice, he's very zen and all this stuff, and he's like, I, like, he enjoys relaxation, and Ash is over here like, this is a defensible position, <laughs> it's fine, they're different, two totally different people. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Oh, no, oh. Never mind. Oh, no, no. He's in the freaking Citadel Council Chambers. Um... Yes, is there something he you want? He couldn't try to do this, like, out in the Presidium or in the wards or something. He's in the freak. How did he even get here, A? And B, why does he think the one place where, like, the center of political power is, he can get away with messing with the Keepers? He's not actually doing anything with them. Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. Give me money. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested I over. think he's one of the only, like, red Solarians that you see. He's a very distinct color. I like it. It's very nice. I think in one of the comics, one of the Shadow Broker comics, potentially, I think you meet a big, beefy Solarian. I think he might be red, but I'm not sure. It might be like, um, Frick, what are they called in Star Wars? Um... Twi'lex! Freaking Twi'lex, I couldn't remember. Um, I think tw the, the, the skin color red in Twi'lex is pretty rare and supposed to be very auspicious. It could be something like that, I don't know. Oh yeah, let me help. I can help you out. I'm not worried about I'm the authorities. I'm not worried about the authority. I don't even know who you oh, are. <laughs> I don't worry about the authority. Even a paragon ship's like, listen, buddy. I'll help you out with some science. I, I'm, I'm not scared, no council. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do my best, don't worry. I'm very good at this. Keeper. I got 30 credits for that. Anyway, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up here. Is it up here? I, last time I did this, which was like two years ago now, when I went through Mass Effect 1, there was one keeper I couldn't find. I thought I had them all. But it turns out I was wrong. I can't even remember where that one was, but I did end up having to get, like, you know, go on to, like, the wiki and, like, look at the map that shows you where all of them are. And be like, I think I got that one, I got that one. I have to go check, double double check places and stuff. I think there's two in here. I could be wrong, but it's always worth being sure. Oh, look at that. What a, what a lovely little terrarium area that is going to be pristine forever. How nice. Where are you? Where, bleh, where are you hiding from me? Ashley, come on, I was trying to sneak Caden and I off into a corner. Take a hint, Ashley. <laughs> it's 
see, there's one other guy down here that we can check. Oh, I remember. There's one over here. By this guy. By Kohaku. I don't. Ka ko Kahaku? Kahaku? Kohoku? No. I just want to ask a couple of questions. It's like the dragon in um, Spirit Away. Commander. Oh, okay. Not yet. Anyway. Keeper scan has been uploaded to the database. It's incredible to me how great everything looks. I, no, to be I fair, to, to be fair, I do kind of wish. I think there's only so much you can do potentially in in like upgrading like a, an already existing series instead of just like doing it from the ground up. I do kind of wish the tree like floor, or floor, like like there. It's just not quite as 3D as I would like. It does look like, you know, hand-painted 2D art still that's been put up. Like, paper mache style. But, I for I definitely, you know, it, it's not it's not like Dragon Age Inquisition that they built from the ground up, you know. They took an existing game and upped the graphics as best they could. It's not gonna be perfect, and they've certainly done a great job with so much. <laughs> Oh, I took film grain off, by the way, in the last episode. I don't know if some people like that or don't. I'm not. I'm not generally a big, the big film grain fan, but uh, they're so still. I can't believe the council ignored all. You guys are blurring. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his word. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. <laughs> I do like the sort of balance that is achieved between those two. Like having them is like the the angle or your devil, you know, type thing. <laughs> Anyway, now. Oh, I didn't. Don't worry. It was just a drive-by scam. Like people who steal your credit card information just by walking by. Oh yeah, Caden gets like. Anyone else here? Yeah. That Mohan? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It makes my teeth tingle. Why haven't I? I think it's because he's biotic, right? But it could like why? Why hasn't anybody like all of the Asa all of the Asari are biotics? Like why couldn't they freaking notice it or do something about it? Huh. Well, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. I think she likes it because it's a practical representation of something. Anyway, freaking look at this. Like, it's a practical representation of something concrete that's useful in the world, and that would appeal to her. Freaking heck. Nope, not that. Not that button. This button. New. Um. Let me see. Oh, I can't remember. I was... Nope, I don't know. I don't remember how to do this. Okay, I think it was at five. Oh my gosh. Photo mode's got me wanting to do, like, lo-fi videos, where you just, like, ambient videos, you know? Oops. Put it away. There we go. Everybody calm down. It's time to explore the Presidium. And pick up quests. The water, like, so the water isn't like it's not like the most one wonderful water I've ever seen, you know. But it's way better than it was. But it's like, like they're working on it off an existing system, you know. You look like you're trying to give drugs to people as they walk past. 
Oh, by the way, Vaughn's in here. That's perfect. Go talk to him. What up? I think if you talk to him, like, second or third, or, or second or first, it kind of changes, like, some of the conversational options. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. I am. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Thank you. I have Korean barbecue waiting for me. Side note, I have Korea, I've, I've had, I, I got a cup up, cup up, a Korean barbecue. It's like a food truck type place that has like physical like, brick and mortar buildings too here. And it's Korean barbecue in a cup, but like a big bowl cup. And I had some for lunch and it was so much I couldn't finish it. Anyway, the rice noodles were delicious and the sauce was amazing. And I just want to eat it right, just right now I want to eat it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I think I saw a review once about this, and it is interesting. I don't know if I've played many games like this, where, like, you come into an RPG, right? Story-driven, like, narrative-driven RPG, and you're already somebody. Like, in so many games, I think especially in the Dragon Age series, and maybe this that skews my, my opinion, because I've played those so many times, but, like, you are kind of a nobody, and you have to work your way up from the bottom to get to the top. Even in Inquisition, right? Where, like, you become the Inquisitor, eventually, like, pretty, you know, I guess, like, however many hours it takes you to get to that point in the game, but, like, you, you still gotta kind of work your way up to, like, somebody who is, like, feels worthy of being that, like, top head person, but, like, it's kind of interesting as Shepard to just walk into the game and you're already known. Like, people know who you are. And, like, you already kind of, you have, like, a summary of your backstory and you still, like, headcanon stuff, you know? But it's just interesting. I like it. It's sort of a breath of fresh air. It's sort of, you know, like, interesting and nice to just be like, oh, yes. You don't have to constantly, like, explain yourself. You're like, I am Shepard. And then they're like, oh, yes. We know of you and your, your exploits. And you're like, thank you. Let's do a, let's move on now. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just kind of nice. Like, I like it. I, it's, it's interesting. You don't gotta, like... There's a time and a place for, like, the build yourself up from the bottom type stories, but it is just, like, I like those a lot, but it is, it is nice. Just roll on in and be like, yeah, I'm Shepard, and, like, put sunglasses on, and everyone's like, woohoo! You know, like, it's nice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about I'm not Siren? subtle. You're very blunt, Yeah, Shepard. not subtle. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Mm -hmm. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. I don't know about that. What's the catch? There is no catch. Oh, that's right, that's right. The Shadow Broker right. is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Because the Shadow Broker isn't necessarily a good person, right? They're not a good person at all. In a lot of ways. Like, they, they will sell information to the highest bidder whether or not that kills millions of people potentially or not. Like, they're not in the business of, like you know, giving away stuff for free just to help people. Like, it could be very helpful information that would save, like, thousands of people, and the Shadow Broker would still make you pay for it. But, this makes sense to me, um, for the Shadow Broker's personality, where, like, potentially in this situation, they... It's because they're so pissed at Sarah, <laughs> you know? Um, also, uh, I would have assumed, and maybe they could have played on this a bit more, that we would have had to owe the Shadow Broker a favor. Potentially, that's something else that I think the Shadow Broker would be willing to bargain with. Uh... Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the C-Sec Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan <laughs> would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. 
Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar <laughs> Thank commerce you law. Very much. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. <laughs> I still think that's that's semi illegal. Like at least at least it is, I assume, uh, in American politics. But like it happens so frequently at this point when it's uncovered, it's like, oh yeah, that's just the way it is, you know? And it's like, no, no, no. Stop it. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. <laughs> I love Bon is such a snarky, polite, suave, like smooth bolus. Like never he never says anything that crosses the line. And he says everything with the utmost politeness and sort of like mysterious aura. But he's just like, hopefully you are never cursed. Listen, buddy, what whenever I play with like Save Game Plus, I always max out my money. It's ridiculous. I never buy anything. I don't buy anything. It's amazing. Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finance. It's so smooth. But my real the currency game. is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural yeah, that's balance amazing of power. To me. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Mm -hmm. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. The man? From time to time I come Assuming. across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Maybe you shouldn't be an information broker then, and also potentially spreading rumors that you're a top shadow broker agent? Or he's just kind of like, he's just kind of trying to play it, play it low. What is the word? I can't even think of the phrase, you know? He's just trying to be like, uh, no, 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 I'm not that big a deal, but I think he actually is a fairly well-used contact by the Shadow Broker. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. I just realized, uh, not just realized, but I just remembered, I don't think we ever see a female Volus or Elcor. And we never see a female Drell. Even in Mass Effect 3, when people were fine, like everyone had been for years, like, where are the women at? <laughs> Where are, why do all these aliens all yet, do, do they just like, uh, do they not, how do they reproduce? Like, I mean, like it's, it would be an interesting, like, biological feature, like, legitimately, <laughs> like, you know. But, uh, we, we end up getting the Salarian women, the Turian women, 
We see in the comics a drow woman. But we never see... And the thing is, like, any one of these, like, people, like, cre creatures, uh, species walking around could be any gender uh, at all, even, like, a third, fourth, or fifth one or whatever. But anytime they speak, it's with masculine voices, you know, which kind of just it makes you kind of go, hey, hey, where are my ladies at, you know? <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm stretching. Uh, it's out of the wards. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. Uh, which makes me uncomfortable. Everybody should be able to like walk up to the highest seat of political power and like express like a, ch a want for change or something, you know? Yeah, it would get chaotic. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yes, we have the Star Wars Republic to look at, you know, that kind of just like ate itself and fell apart. But to be fair, it was being heavily manipulated by Emperor Palpatine and anyway, blah, 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 blah. I should go. Different. Different space Goodbye, game. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Balavon. Different space game, different space game. Shopping! It's so shiny. God, look at this Hanar! Too bad I, don't, I was about to say 4K Hanar, but it's technically only a 1080p Hanar. But still, 4K Hanar potentiality. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Stupid jellyfish. No, I'm just kidding. You're nice. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Of course, of course. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Yeah, it's very interesting. I do. I like. I like the variety of things that they that they chose. Like the variety of like cultural differences. Like, of course, it probably you probably could have done a way more. But like, it's interesting stuff like this where it makes a lot of sense, right? I think it explains it later where it's like seen as like too prideful or something, or like, or like too self-centered to like refer to yourself in the first person unless you're with like close family or intimates, you know. Uh, I think it's something like that, where they're very conscientious of, like, being, you know, not, not selfish, you know? Who are you? Oh, well, This one's face yeah. name is Delaninder. Please take time to examine the hey. fine goods it has oh, for let me see they got all a... of great work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me your items. Let me see. Oh, Look this one is pleased is. to do so, you human. Will. You will not be disappointed. Use standard items. I want to see if you've got. Yes. There we go. A license. Anyway. Aha. I should probably go after I nab. Look, N7 colors. Hey, hey. After I nab this keeper, there might be another one. No. Okay. Maybe? Oh, there might be, yeah, there might be one way over there. <laughs> That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? 
It's not like keepers offer an explanation. This was interesting to me. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. Just strange that we know so little about them. It's true. Not to mention frustrating. Why do we? Why is everybody just like, oh yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's totally fine. Anyway, I wonder if we walked into here early. Not early necessarily. I guess we've already talked to that Elcor. So anyway, I'm going to call this one here. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to eat an early dinner of the rest of my Korean barbecue with rice noodles and cabbage and spicy sauce. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.